to Overland Plus. Welcome everybody. My name is Ben. It is lovely to have you along for video number one in our extended weekly series, the top 50 problems or issues that you might face as an overlander. And today we're going to talk about the weather, as you can tell by the introduction. I have my list here and let's get started with number one. It's might seem obvious, but it's always a good idea. Please, please, please check the weather. It doesn't take a long time to do that, but check the extended forecast. Now, there are obviously lots of different sites that you would go to to check the weather. So whatever local area you're in, that would be a good one to use, right? Um, you might also want to check the weather conditions along your route and at your destination to make sure that everything is peachy keen. All right, peachy keen. Did I just say that? I think I did. Well, there you go. All right, number two for uh, problems with weather. Make sure you're packing the appropriate clothing for the weather conditions that you may face, all right? If you've checked the weather and the weather says it's gonna be sunny and uh, you know cool, then bring something light, long sleeve to keep you warm during the day perhaps, because at night the weather's gonna get cooler because the sun's not around, so you wanna have clothes for that, okay? Okay, so number three, number three, vehicle. Yeah, I know, but you know, you're out in the weather. Check your vehicle before you go out. Um, things like your heating system, if it's wintertime or the fall. Um, cooling system, if it's spring or summer, maybe even into uh, early autumn, right? Um, so that's something you want to uh, consider. Um, you want to make sure for weather you have the appropriate tires on your vehicle. Right? If you're going somewhere where it might be snowing, uh, you want to make sure you have the appropriate tires. Uh, probably an AT with a three-peak rated probably wouldn't help, okay? Wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt, I meant to say. There you go. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Okay, number four, number four, um, emergency shelter. Um, when you're dealing with weather that's unpredictable, having something that it can keep the elements off you, at least for a little while, can be really, really helpful. These are various things that you could do. Uh, a bivy, you could do a, a tarp, um, you could have a, a tent with you, just a light tent, just to keep some of the elements off you may be helpful depending on the circumstances that you find yourself in. Number five, four weather navigation tools. Yes, navigation tools, the GPS, map, compass, all of that. But what does that have to do with weather? Well, the thing is, when you are in an area where you might be out of cell phone service, which in many parts of the world, that is the case, um, either a satellite phone, a Garmin inReach, something like that, that will allow you to connect to weather stations or uh, national weather services in your area so that you can keep, uh, be aware or keep in touch with weather as it changes. Number six, number six, we can do that. There we go, number six, um, vehicle maintenance, all right? So when you are dealing with weather, your vehicle is your primary center of food and shelter and of course travel. Um, so things like uh, wiper blades, are they clean and are they streaky, right? If they are, get rid of them, put new ones on there. Um, check all your fluids, uh, radiator, cooling, um, oil, uh, AT fluids, all of those things, you know, all of those things, so that you know when you're going out into an area where it might be hot, uh, your car is, your vehicle is going to be okay because your fluids have been recently serviced, okay? You might also want to check the battery to make sure it's got a proper voltage and everything in the car that is electrical is running properly. You don't want to have any issues in 
electrical gremlins in your car while you're out and it's 85, 90 degrees or in Celsius, uh, 28, 30 degrees Celsius, you just don't want to have that problem. So make sure you have a vehicle check. Um, an emergency kit. Um, some people like to call these bug out bags. Uh, just an emergency kit of with various items. I'm not going to go into the details of an emergency kit, but that might be something to have in your back, uh, the back of your truck. Um, if you are alone overlanding, which if you're new, I would not advise, but if you're in an area where, you know, maybe you've been before and you know the area, but if your car does get into trouble, you can put on a light emergency bag and walk out, potentially, um, if it's not too far uh, to, uh, to, to get help, all right? So, be careful about that one. You, yeah, be careful. That's that's a whole other video we're gonna get into. All right, um, comms. All right, so communication tools. I kind of touched on this already um, with regards to navigation tools. Um, so these are specific uh, electronic devices. So a sat phone, Garmin inReach, other things like that. Uh, that could uh, assist you. Number nine, alternative routes for travel. Hmm, yes. I bet you didn't think about this one. So you know roughly where your destination is going to be, but it may be a good idea to, as you're checking out the map, to have two or three routes planned out. Your primary route and perhaps one or two secondary routes. The reason is, um, what if on your primary route you have a flash flood and, well, you don't have a snorkel and you're not quite ready to risk going through the water? Well, then you just backtrack and type in your next uh, secondary route and hopefully that one would be better. Okay, so having a secondary route, really helpful. Number 10, train and prepare on all of your equipment. Um, if you are out in the winter time, learn how to snow drive, okay? Uh, get into your overland rig, not your daily driver car, but get into, the, uh, into your rig and actually go maybe, you know, late at night when it's snowing and you go to a parking lot and practice emergency braking, you know, uh, turning quickly in snow so that you can get a feel for what the vehicle is doing and you can be prepared for that and you're not gonna panic, okay? Um, this is also true in heavy rain. Uh, this is true in lightning storms, okay? Whatever the scenario that you may encounter in your travels, have thoughts in your mind for how you're going to deal with them. If that means doing a little bit of extra research on overlanding and weather, well, Put a comment down below because that could be a, a video that we can do in the future. So let me know what you think about that. Things like uh, survival methods and at least basic first aid courses for yourself and for the people who are traveling with you. At least one or two people in a team should be first aid qualified. Those are my 10 uh, ways of dealing with inclement weather, uh, should you, uh, should you happen to come up with it. So next top 10, um, are problems dealing with navigation and GPS issues. Ah, please no, but it does happen. So stay tuned on how you can solve those problems before you get out on the trail. That's it for me here at Overland Plus. Thank you very much. Don't forget, hit the sub and bell notification if you have found this video to be helpful for you.